Good morning. I'm Tom the Mormon, a compassionate, free-thinking, Christian anarchist, transhumanist vegan who has a love of all life and the blockchain. Just uh, heading back down from beautiful, sunny blue sky, Muskoka, Ontario, uh, to the hospital in Barrie, Ontario, to visit my dear old dad. My father is uh, uh, still in the hospital. They were supposed to be sending him back to the Bracebridge Hospital this morning. But uh, uh, send your love and prayers for my dad. Because he has not necessarily taken a turn for the worse. He's had atrial fibrillation or elevated heart rate. It means his heart has gone faster over the last few months every once in a while. So they just won't want to run a few more tests. Now I'm praying they don't have to do any kind of surgery or things like that because he's just had surgery. I don't think he's up for more surgery. I don't think that would be I don't think the timing's very good on that. I think he should recover a little bit and then maybe go back down to get a stent or whatever you might need. But um uh, but yeah, love and prayers uh, for my dad that he has a speedy recovery and gets home soon. Um, uh, I was watching as Litecoin to say to change the subject back to the blockchain. I was watching Litecoin uh, develop from the mid '30s. Uh, it shot up into the 40s and it kept going right up to uh, the mid 40s uh, where I thought I'd take a seat and uh, and then I glanced away for a second and glanced back and it had gone up to $53 and then dropped down to $50 uh, again and uh, and uh, so left $5 on the table there um, however there's much to come with the blockchain, uh, financial contracts, uh, crowdfunding projects, uh, all going to be done on the blockchain. I think it's wonderful technology, and I think everybody should be looking into it now while it's still uh, relatively young. It's only a, you know, less than a decade old, and uh, yet it's foreign to most people. Those are who are involved in it uh, have already made a fortune for the most part and are... Uh, those who are just getting into it are, are poised to uh, do quite well for themselves uh, some way, shape, or form in the industry. The more people that know about it, the better the industry does, uh, the more everybody makes. Uh, so I think it's wonderful in this transition. Uh, it's another technological revolution. It's the blockchain revolution. We've had the industrial revolution. We've had uh, uh, the uh, computer revolution. I mean, we've come from the Stone Age right up to the computer revolution, uh, right up to the present. Uh, well, we had the uh, internet revolution, and now we're uh, on the cusp of the blockchain revolution. So, um, if you don't know what the blockchain is, Google what is the blockchain. Have a look around. Tune into my videos. Like, share. Uh, uh, Resteam, uh, upvote, uh, up uh, repost, uh, share these videos with your friends, um, uh, put m my videos on your own website if you like, uh, that'd be great, I mean, um, uh, you're welcome to uh, put my videos on your site and monetize them and, and have a ball. Um, Back to my dad now. I'm just uh, heading back down there, and uh, just uh, you know, I know they want to take perfectly good care of him. They've got a good hospital up here too. They don't want to ship him back and forth if in the event he would need surgery, if anything uh, was major. Uh, my father suffers from uh, uh, pa panic attacks. He's, he gets these. Uh, uh, he's been on oxygen for six years now, and uh, since he quit smoking cigarettes and uh, uh, he has these panic attacks that um, affect him 
when he uh, uh, when he can't breathe. When he can't breathe, he, he uh, starts to panic and he worries that he won't be able to uh, to breathe. Uh, so they, the uh, the puffers that he uses doesn't see, don't seem to help. And um, so uh, when he's having a panic attack, his heart rate goes. Uh, sky high just because it's like running around the block um, several times for him he, he's, he's, he gets worried and scared and, and uh, just like uh, you know if you're on a scary ride uh, or something uh, your heart goes up a little bit so They've got all the facilities in the hospital to check all these things, so they're giving them a. They sent him to a different room to check on all these things for him um, to see if what he needs is uh, some extra cardiac care. And uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, my son uh, had uh, has a pacemaker and was. Uh, uh, a sick kid's hospital patient from before the time he was born and uh, he's had uh, several heart surgeries so when it comes to hearts and heart surgery I get a little bit worried so big prayers and shout out go out to my my dad Dr. Thomas Gleason uh, 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 he's lived a wonderful life but we don't want him to go yet good man, he's helped many, many people, um, he's, uh, he's my mentor in so many ways, and uh, he's my dear old dad. So as we head on forward into the week, to my American brothers and sisters, uh, happy 4th of July. Independence Day. Um, I hope you guys can enjoy this day and celebrate with great joy. Um, and your, your fa the founding fathers of the United States of America uh, had the ball in the right place. They were they had their head on straight when it came to. Uh, trying to do things independently of uh, the grandiose government um, that can be sometimes a little bit overbearing. Uh, the government should really uh, be the people's servants. Uh, they're service workers that, that are they're hired to help society and civilization, uh, not the other way around. Uh, people in society and civilization are not here to be at the beck and call and be slaves for the government. So when I do mention that I am not only Christian, not only Canadian, not only transhumanist, vegan, compassionate, and Mormon, I am an anarchist in terms that I believe that no man or woman or child should be enslaved to any government. We are all free spirits of our heavenly parents and we should have our agency to choose the right and to choose and worship what we want to, what we, where we want to, how we want to because there is truth in so many things and so many facets of life. Life is packed with truth. And being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I have been on a quest for truth and to get the all the all the truths from the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many truths, and I respect how other people 
lived their lives and there's truth in so many things and I embrace these truths and that's something that is a common thread throughout all cultures and societies that we don't need it to be enforced by any government we are all brothers and sisters in this world we should all be here to love each other and lift each other up and not find ways to war with each other or battle with each other or spend money on weapons we should really be just bearing our weapons not our brothers and sisters in the wars and uh, they keep those weapons under the ground just all make the big decision not to use them anymore and work together to crowdfund to help alleviate world poverty to help alleviate uh, world uh, financial corruption and political corruption if you have any questions comments criticisms I embrace all that you have to say I, I encourage you to uh, post it in the uh, comment bar and description bar uh, below in the, down in the comment bar yeah tell me what you think like my posts share them with your friends read the book of mormon in the name of jesus christ amen i'm back at the royal victoria hospital here to find my dad it's a lot busier here today after the long weekend and uh, it's a lovely hospital. We have a uh, pretty good healthcare system here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, there's pros and cons. Uh, a lot of things are covered. For some people, might complain that waiting wait times are longer for emergencies and uh, for MRIs and tests like that. So a lot of our Canadian brothers and sisters have to go down to the United States to get their MRIs done down there. So let's see why they want to keep my dad here today. Hmm. He was supposed to be coming home to the hospital in Muskoka, but we'll see how long he has to stay now. But this is an advanced level two hospital, making each life better together. It's a fantastic motto that they have here at the hospital, at the Royal Victoria Hospital. But it's a lot busier here than it was on the weekend because of the, uh, the long weekend Canada Day holiday. Shout out to my American brothers and sisters who are having a celebration of their own today, Independence Day. Good morning. Fourth of July today. So that's their big celebration. So cardiology is where I'm gonna go see my dad, see how he's doing up in there. And see if I can make his life better together with everybody else here and with your help and prayers from at home. So post your questions and comments and criticisms in the comment bar below if you want to know more about the Canadian healthcare system or the Ontario healthcare system, let me know.